Okay, that's close enough. All things looking good with our spacecraft here. Let's make this correction. Hey, Blackhawk, thanks. And welcome. We are uh, rescuing a Kerbal from Lathe. Kerbal's in orbit around Lathe. Uh, I put the Kerbal there, it's not a contract like that. So, uh, we're sending out a rescue vehicle. Uh, not quite getting Leif encounter here. And that's probably... God, it's a little bit lower than we want to be, isn't it? I mean, it looks like the trajectory is almost exactly what we planned, but it's not giving us the Leif encounter. Okay, well at least that's in line. So I'll, I'll accept that and then we're going to uh, figure it out. Okay. How do you define a cannon? How do you define a cannonball? How do you define ground? <laughs> oh, we're philosophical now, are we? Okay, so rescuing a Kerbal from... Okay, that's not my... Uh, Grisbiz is doing something completely... Di well, similar, actually. Um, so, alright. Blackhawk says thanks, so hopefully that was the answer to this question. Uh, rescuing a Kerbal from Duna Orbit uh, to fund it, you accepted a contract to put a satellite into a high equatorial Kerbin orbit. Also a contract to do a flyby of Duna, Ike, and Minmus. The fuel isn't that much more to swing by Minmus. Do a gravity assist. Well, Minmus doesn't have any gravity to assist you with. Why am I not time warping as quickly as possible? Um, do a gravity assist and you're assuming you can swing by Ike after a Duna orbit. Like a boss. Well, uh, yeah. Sounds like something you should stream. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So here's the question. We've got we've got a Leif encounter lined up, but we don't know the right altitude for the arrow breaking around Leith. We know that in the dual system we arrow braked around Leith at around uh, what was it uh, 36 kilometers. We're probably gonna have to be lower than that because we're gonna be coming in much faster. But how much lower? Nimbus has enough gravity to alter your really high, wide, really wide, high Kerbin orbit and put you in the right direction. Okay, whatever works. And if you burn multiple times, you can keep your periapsis just a handful of kilometers over Nimbus and milk all, all, all its gravity. Yes, all of its gravity. Gonna need help finding out the air breaking altitude for Duna. Is it uh, home and transfer? If that's so, then uh, if your craft is somewhat blunt object, 24 kilometers was fine, I think. Uh, 24 kilometers, I'd say, is the lowest you need to be, I think. Or was the highest? Just go for 24 kilometers. We haven't done that many Duna missions. You're gonna have to adjust it a little bit over there. 23 is a nice prime number. Watch out for those prime numbers. They're shady, you know. Yep, and I, I like my nice evenly divisible numbers. Stuff with lots of factors. Hello music, what have you done? Alright, welcome to Jewel Sphere of Influence. Population 1. Wanna bet it won't even let me set a maneuver? Let's see. So many times I've come into the dual system and I swear just set a maneuver right, yeah, sure. If it lets me. Let's focus back on our craft. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh wait, I think I saw one. Somewhere around here it worked. There we go. Well, if we miss Leif, we're gonna crash into Jewel. Ha! Huh. 
That's funny. Or it could do something like that. Oh, I, I, I've got a creative thing. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, basically this is... Uh, somebody was uh, telling me to use the uh, a gravity assist in order to get around into uh, dual orbit. Uh, this would be such a thing if we were not crashing into lathe. So that, that's, that's using a gravity assist from a moon in order to get into dual orbit. Tylo does it better, of course. But we don't need to do that. Let's, let's just not do that. Let's try and get a good Leif Periapsis, which is what that is. Welcome to the Hydrogen Massive Mini Solar System. Does it say it's hydrogen, by the way? I don't know. We don't know what it is. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Atmosphere. I didn't even see this before. Huh. Anyway, uh, but that doesn't show us anything now. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's hydrogen. Is hydrogen green? When's my next stream? It'll be Saturday. 1, uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, that's 8 p.m. GMT. So anyway, we've got a maneuver here. Jewel Roller Coaster 2.0. No! No, we're not doing that again. That's how we got uh, Sidri... 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 Sidri stranded. I'm trying to wrap my... My ability to pronounce around that. Okay, okay, enough of this. One day, I'll time warp because I plotted it so closely, we'll just go with it. So, let's say... Well, that's too low, but uh, we'll go in at this altitude and then we'll correct once we're in uh, Lathe SOI. Okay, here we go. We might not have, strictly speaking, enough solar panels here. Here in the dual system... I don't know. I mean, of course, solar input is not quite as high. Where is that dot that I thought was due? Oh, there it is. And this is currently our approach into Lathe. And we'll be using Lathe to air brake us. This is an air braking test. I have not brought a mission directly into Lathe from Kerbin. I know that we, we got uh, Sidri into orbit around Leif at 36 kilometers. And that was just barely. So we know we have to be lower than 36, but how much lower, I don't know. We've got one of those squiggly line trajectories here. But more importantly, we have to correct this Leif periapsis. Okay. Central US. Yes, that's what I was referring to as Central, uh, central Daylight Time. Yeah. Um, check the station's orbit. Oh, crud, you're right. Okay, well, uh, problem with Lathe is it's got such a small sphere of influence that correcting this is gonna be a pain. I should have done this from further out. Uh, there's no way to correct this properly. We'll get into a we'll get into a high orbit, hopefully. Cross your fingers. Okay, first of all, suggestions for periapsis. 36 is max. I'll say 30 kilometers is min, and I'll let you guys place your your suggestions. 33, 33, 33. <laughs> okay, let's go for 33. It's not one of those suspicious prime numbers, at least. Okay, 33 and 2 meters. Okay, but I'm still worried about this inclination. Now we've got fuel. This is good. 
At least we've got fuel. Don't do the... You're suggesting don't do the correction now. I agree. Uh, we're going too fast. We're just going way too fast to correct uh, our orbit with respect to Sidri. Okay. So the panel's in. Let's pretend we picked 33 because of any knowledge about the Aero model. Well, we have a tiny bit of knowledge about the Aero model, right? We, we know that 36, what 36 does. That's, that's the thing. High orbit after air braking and then correct the inclination. Yep, that's the plan. I just couldn't see a good way of doing it otherwise. Depend it's definitely dependent on the ship. I'm just hoping that the Poodle is sort of... Well, it's not like we have any benchmark to compare this to. I haven't done a lathe air brake like this. Has anybody done a lathe air brake? Does, has anybody seen a stream where somebody's done a lathe air brake? You're worried about the side tanks. These guys. Well, we'll try to keep it as flush to... Uh, to retrograde as possible. We probably should have uh, put little nose cones on these too, huh? It's about to get hot, all right. This this music is good, but let's go to, for the traditional air braking music here. High explosive batteries. Well, they're in the they're in the service bay. Hopefully, they're all right. In realism overhaul uh, with deadly reentry, used to always be the RCS ports. The RCS ports were always the most vulnerable things, and the parachutes. Okay, make sure I'm. Uh, flush to retrograde. Come on, stabilize, stabilize. Oh, 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 no, I can't hold it. Uh, I don't have enough RCS to hold it either. I can't hold it. Chief forces are high. Chief forces are very high. Oh, fudge. Uh oh, we're past 10. Oh! Something blew up. I should have asked you guys to place your bets based on what would happen. Come on, turn to retrograde. Turn to retrograde. Oh! Something else blew up. Mackerel. I, I'm just not gonna exert any... I think part of it was me trying to control it and bring it to retrograde. Uh, most of our craft seems intact, but I don't know what exploded. Our blader is going off. Our blader is diminishing, even though it's not exposed to anything. That's not good. I don't want my blader to leave. I was carrying a heat shield for a reason. Now it's useless. How does it even ablate? It's tucked in there. Ablate means to peel off. Um, we're not in orbit yet. We're getting in orbit though. We will get to orbit. This I bow. And, uh, um, yes. I'm not reading chat just yet. Paying close attention to how close this breaks us, just in case we have to boost up. Uh, we might have to boost up. 
we are at 37, 38 kilometers, still bringing us down. Atmosphere limit is 50 kilometers, we're at 39 kilometers. We're too low, incidentally, to correct our inclination. We need to boost higher. So just for reference, this is 33 kilometer aerobrake. It looks like it'll be a stable orbit. I mean, uh, once we boost periapsis, of course. Okay, let me catch up on what you guys have said. Sayonara, poodle. The poodle's fine. Heck, uh, what's... Uh, let, let's get the temperature overlay. Poodle looks cool as a cucumber. It's the RCS ports, the photovoltaic panels. That photovoltaic panel is fine. What exploded? Decoupler damage. Ah! The two panels on the pod. The two panels on the pod were what exploded. Okay, what else? Uh, told you you should have used a stay put, Nick. Some torque way up top would fix, but it doesn't actually do anything. Come on. Um, Thirty-three kilometers going five kilometers per second. Yep. Small solar panels. Yep. Don't mind the fire. It's okay. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Uh, does the F10 button still cause memory leaks? Uh, why? As uh, this is still 1.0.2, and as far as I know, that this is the version where that was the thing. But I have my RAM on the side, so I know that there's no problem right now. Nice edge, yeah. Uh, the temp overlay is F11, yeah. Okay. So. I think I answered all those questions. Let's get into that stable orbit and then we got to figure out how to rendezvous with our poor little Kerbal there. But stable orbit first. I should get out the solar panels right now. Maximize their opportunity to get some solar input. Oh, let's not go overboard there. Let's say we did from here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I need to boost higher. Don't, don't. You don't need to su suggest that. I'm just seeing. Is this the right, right way around? Uh, we're going this way, that way. Which way is... Okay, well, let's let's use the node. That's fine. Let's. Ah, uh, our ascending and descending node aren't in the. Well, okay, I was pretty close. Well, it's not the greatest situation ever. God, it's gonna take a lot to match speeds, though. Enter Duna Sy moving one one seven two. I, I don't know. I, all I've got is the 24 kilometer thing, man. Air braking calculator is not going to work right now. Air braking calculator is not up to date for 1.0.2 as far as I know. Unless somebody knows that it's been updated. In which case, I'd like to know that. But last time I checked, it wasn't. Don't think there is fuel on the station. No, there isn't. No, we were down to RCS to... and not much of that either. Okay, what have you guys been saying? Why Nightbot? Oh, yes. Uh, the first time I allowed... I mean, I, on one day, I allowed links and somebody put a spam link in. It's like, just right away, spam link. So... Yeah, that was about it. <laughs> Told me I should have gone for the mainsail twin board and booster shot, etc, etc, yeah. 
But we did have a nice launcher. The launcher was nice. We should have put more fuel on it. That's the problem. I mean, uh, on the upper stage. On the poodle stage. That's where we went wrong. I didn't think that rendezvous would take... Well, also I went wrong by not correcting this inclination before getting into lathe. Okay, let's see if we can actually catch up or... What is our orbital period? Actually, I can check that. 20 minutes there. Okay, so that is an hour and 42 minutes for half an orbit. It seems like it's pretty close. Yeah, I think uh, the target's orbit is only two minutes longer than ours. That's just peachy. Well, that has some beneficial effect. I'll go with that now. Okay, open up your own LLC and it was the Grizzbiz. Well, that's good. Limited liability company, yes. Point of that. Yeah, you don't get go bankrupt for that as a person. You don't uh, carry the liabilities of the company as an individual. Okay, that's close. It's not really going to help much. <laughs> I don't think we have enough fuel to save him. Ah. Well, I guess now I can use a token amount of mod propellant. Okay, that is good. Okay, we're gone. Uh, well, we, we have no hope. <laughs> uh, you can see our difference with the target. Maybe, maybe we, we should encounter. We should encounter it out here. Maybe out here. There'll be less to less to fix like that. So I'm gonna just continue. I'm gonna skip this encounter. Bye bye. Stop turning around and around. I don't want the I don't want the encounter on that side. Stop giving me an encounter on that side. Ha, <laughs> that costs too much. But maybe after a few orbits that'll work out. Oh, come on. There. How many orbits is that? Okay, we're going to be going around for a while. How much Delta V do I have left? I don't know. Probably... Um, no, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to... Once we separate the poodle stage, I'll calculate that. Let let's 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 not get into the nitty gritty here. God, th no, this is gonna be worse, isn't it? Uh well, maybe we'll see. Okay, 0.2 kilometers sounds great. Let's see about this. Dual gravity assist return. Well, I I think that's that's tricky. To... All right, let's see how far apart we are. Nope, didn't help much at all. Well, this thing's here. Let's match speeds with it. Okay, we're too far ahead of it. Um. It's not really the most pressing problem.
Uh, like, I guess we're, if we're in 10 km kilometer range at this point, it's fine. Okay. Alright, now let's figure out what our delta V is. Actually, that screen will be more helpful. 4.24 divided by... Hold on, let me calculate the raw amount of fuel. Okay, now... 4.24 divided by the f fuelless load. That's not a great mass ratio. 1,450. 1,450. And we're in this weird orbit. So the question is, do we risk it? Do we risk putting Sidri in this one? Or do we send something different? I guess we have to put Sidri in this one. It's a little bit... Can we call this safer? I don't know. His, his little pod is quite nice too. But it's got no way of going around. It's got no actual engine now. That burned off in the Leif uh, aero braking. It has more fuel in it, yeah. But it doesn't have a docking port. Docking port could be a helpful thing. Uh, we're still sort of drifting towards it. Hold on. Oops, wrong key. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Stop that. Stop it. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, Sidri. Down. Trying to be very delicate here. Okay, grab, scoot up, board. All right, well, Sidri's in. I don't think we have more than a thousand four hundred delta V now after we did the maneuvering. Science, whatever. I'm not getting the science. What what science? I mean, uh, what science? I mean, I could. You mean this a little bit? <sighs> there's there's no data here. No, there's no there's no data in the cockpit. Hmm. Do I really want to go over there and get the little bit of science? No. No, I think I'm satisfied. <laughs> we'll uh, tell you what, guys. We're going to leave it here for today. I've done almost three hours now. We'll leave it here. If I decide I have the energy to go back and get the temperature and the barometer. Yeah, I transmitted it all. Um, get the thermometer and barometer things. That's a separate issue. But for now, I'm a little bit tired out. So we'll decide what to do with Sidri at a later time. And I'll call it, uh, I'll call it a session for now. All right? All right, so thank you for watching. I will stream next time on Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 8 p.m. GMT. And we'll pick this up from there. All right? So, yeah. See you then.